Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Loop channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you did decide to watch this video presentation. Today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing an article that I recently wrote. I do so for individuals who learn through watching and listening. To read the article, I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. You're an important part of my process and I always enjoy our times together. So here's the article, The Importance of Self-Advocacy After a Brain Injury to Own the Power in Our Mind, Body, Spirit, Soul, and Emotions. I'm writing this, I'm in the process of writing my 15th ebook, The Importance of Self-Advocacy After a Brain Injury to Own the Power in Our Mind, Body, Spirit, Soul, and Emotions ebook. An ebook to encourage hope. I'm writing this ebook to encourage people like myself to own their power in mind, body, spirit, soul, and emotions. To own their power through being actively involved in a self-advocacy self process. A self-advocacy process, although they may experience opposition. Opposition through being patronized, condescended to, and disparaged at times. Patronized, condescended to, and disparaged at times by individuals who do, do not or are not able to see the value, the value of our purpose. In advance of this ebook, I wrote an article. Yes, I am disabled, but don't count me out because I'm not my brain injury or my disability. I did so to lay a foundation to build upon in and through this ebook. The good news is that we don't have to be limited, limited by our excuse me, limited or because of our brain injury or our disability, limited by what other people think or believe about who we are because of our brain injury and disability, limited by believing that we lack the ability to own our power because of our brain injury and disability. So what I did is I went ahead and I wrote an introduction to the ebook, and I'm going to read the introduction to you. I'm writing this ebook to encourage people like myself to realize that we can make a difference in our lives, make a difference, make a tremendous difference in our lives, in how we experience our lives after a brain injury by only the reality that the reality that we have the power, we take a huge step forward in self-advocacy. By believing that we can make a difference in our lives, we empower our ability to embrace that we are capable. Brain injury awareness followed by self-advocacy provides the door by which we can step through to create new, our new normal. Self-advocacy gives us the ability to rebuild our lives. Self-advocacy frees us from a sense of helplessness, a dependency, on our, uh, or dependency. Excuse me, let me read that again. Self-advocacy frees us from a sense of helplessness and dependency. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that we no longer have to be limited by a diagnosis or a prognosis. Self-advocacy helps to open our eyes to realize that we can own our power. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that we no longer have to limit ourselves or be limited by a societal label, stereotype, or stigmatization, that we no longer have to be paralyzed by stress and anxiety, that we no longer have to feel like we are a victim of our circumstances, that we can build something beautiful on our lot in life. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that we can walk through a door to a whole, to a whole new way of living. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that our lives have not ended because of a brain injury, that instead our lives have just begun. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that living with a brain injury now offers new possibilities. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that we have a profound, we can have a profound impact on both our and other people's lives through the power of choice. Self-advocacy reminds us that our recovery process and, uh, and journey and on our journey, we get to choose what and how to build on our life. Self-advocacy helps us to realize that we can have a part in pursuing our purpose, dreams, and our destinies. Pursue our purpose, dreams, and destinies in ways that work for us. 
self-advocacy reveals to us that life no longer needs to look like it did before a brain injury. Self-advocacy helps us to wake up from denying the impact of our brain injury. Self-advocacy encourages us to get on with our lives instead of continuing to feel trapped. Self-advocacy inspires us to get into action to build self-action in order to create and experience hope in our lives, one skill and one skill set at a time. Self-advocacy gives us the creative capacity to experience what we never dreamed possible. Self-advocacy empowers our ability to excel in life, despite of what we may have been told or led to believe about ourselves. Self-advocacy helps us helps to helps us to find a way when we are told that there is no way. Self-advocacy inspires us to not give up because more will be revealed. Self-advocacy helps us to accept our deficits and limitations by not being limited by them. Self-advocacy helps us to use our gifts, talents, and abilities to impact both our generation and future generations to have a have an impact by doing the footwork and letting go of the outcomes. Self-advocacy reminds us to not give up, although and when we feel patronized, condescended to, or disparaged. Patronized, condescended to, and disparaged by those who cannot see the value of what we bring to the table of life through self-advocacy. And here's several quotes that I really like. Never be bullied into silence. Never allow yourself to be made a victim. Accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself by Robert Frost. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know, they somehow, somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary, and that's by Steve Jobs. Next quote. Don't quit. Never give up trying to build the world that you can see, even if others can't see it. Listen to your own drum and your drum only. It's the one that makes the sweetest sound. And then the next quote is by um, Dick Fosbury, the inventor of the Fosbury flop and the 1968 uh, gold medal winner in the high jump in the Mexico City Games. I was told over and over again that I would never be successful, that I was not going to be competitive, and the techniques was simply not going to work. All I could do is sh was shrug and say, we'll just have to see. This is the end of the video presentation. I want to thank you again for your time and kindness and watching this. Please do share the uh, video presentation with anybody that you think could benefit. And please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel. And uh, putting a like or a thumbs up would help my channel too. And getting the information to other folks who are living with the impact of brain injuries. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and God bless both you and your family. Thanks again for your time. Bye now.